Hi there, and welcome to Rural Courses. In this video, I will explain how to quickly make a contact sheet in Adobe Lightroom. But first, what is contact sheet? A contact sheet contains thumbnail images of all the photos from the series you want to send to the client. It is easier to use this than to send the client individual photos. It is more organized and it is harder to come to the confusion when the client is selecting photos they want. Contact sheets are easy to make and they will make your work look much more professional. With that out of the way, let's move on to the main part of the video. So first, you have to import photos you want to put in the contact sheet. I already prepared some photos to use. Now, you go over to the print in the top right corner. Here, you can see a lot of templates on the left. There we can select an already made contact sheets. There are two contact sheets that Lightroom already has built in, so I will select one of them. And now, this is a contact sheet which is already made for us. The contact sheet is made out of the photos that we select, so I will select all of my photos by hitting Ctrl A on my keyboard. But you can also select just a few photos that you want to use. Now, you can choose if you want your page to be in a portrait or landscape orientation by clicking on the page setup in the down left corner. There, you can also choose the size of the page. But for now, I will select A4 in portrait orientation. When you're finished with that, you can go to the right. There you can see multiple options. The first one is image settings. There you can select your photos to zoom in to fill the square. But you usually don't select that, so I will leave it like this. You can also select repeat one photo per page. And, as you can see, it will multiply a single photo, so if you need to have multiple copies of the same photos, you can do that. After that, you can use stroke border if you want to frame your photos, and you can change the thickness of the frame like this. Below that, you have options for the layout. Here you can customize your margins, to the left, right, or maybe if you want to insert some logo on the, from the top, or bottom like this. Below that, you can choose how many rows and columns you want to have. For now, I will set it to, let's say, three rows and two columns. You can also add margins between your photos by moving this slider like this. You can also change cell size. So if you want them smaller like this, or bigger like this. For now, I will leave them like this because I need bigger photographs. Below that, you have an option to keep your images square, which means they will rotate inside the square, which is fine. Next thing you can do is to show guides, but keep in mind that they will not be shown when printed. So here, you can select rulers, margins, image cells, and dimensions. After that, you can change the color of the background page. You can make it, let's say, gray, green, or blue, or whatever you want. I usually just keep it white. One thing you can also do is select Identity Plate and bring in your own custom Identity Plate. By scrolling down, you can see Photo Info. So there, you can choose what do you want to be written and printed below the photo. It can be a date, file name, or whatever you want. You have many of these options. For now, I will select Sequence. But you can explore and pick options you like the best. Now, I want to make my text bigger. For example, like this, or like this. When you are done, and you made your contact sheet, you can send it to the printer here. But I don't want that, so I will go to the print and select PDF, name it, uh, let's say, contact sheet 1, and save it. That's it. Now you can send it to the client. That's how you make a contact sheet in Adobe Lightroom very easy. I hope this video helped you.